Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today's episode, I'm gonna show you how you can change your very own tractor battery. It's super easy. Now uh, this uh, can go for multiple different types of tractors. They're all pretty much similar. They're all pretty much the same. And I wanted to talk to you about the battery that I chose. I chose a Mighty Max battery, which you'll see it here in a minute. I choose those batteries because they're cheap and they last pretty much the same amount of time as your, your average tractor battery does. Now this tractor battery is actually from November of 2019. So yeah, it's junk. It won't even crank the sucker over. Without further ado, let's get started. So in this particular case, you're gonna need a 10 and an 11 millimeter, 10 wrench, 11 millimeter wrench or socket. For some reason, here at home, I don't own an 11 millimeter wrench, so it is a socket. You're gonna wanna pop your negative cable off. It really doesn't matter what order you do these, but I do recommend putting the negative cable on last. You want to use something to pry this out. Not super hard to do, but just pull your battery out just like so. We're going to expertly catalog that battery into the battery junk pile. Now, this battery is actually way lighter, way lighter. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a snug fit, but she sure went in real easy. Make sure everything clears. Everything's good. Now we're going to put our positive on. Put our positive on first. Tighten it up. Now these do not have to be super, super tight, but they do have to be tight. Put our negative on last. Okay, now we're going to put our clip in there, just like so. Now we're going to set our e-brake. There we go, our e-brake is now set. And there you go, ladies. And 
that is how you change a battery in your riding lawnmower. Super easy, super simple. You can save a dollar doing it. And one of the reasons why I buy the Mighty Max batteries, they're not top of the line batteries, but they last the same amount of time. I've never had an issue with the Mighty Max batteries. They're cheaper. That one was about $55 on Amazon and it didn't charge me for a core charge like your local AutoZone or whatever would. So you get to keep the old battery and scrap it yourself or give it to a friend who, who scraps and needs an extra dollar. What I do with my scrap around here is I take it down to the end of the road and I let the local scrappers get it. It puts food and whatever in their pockets and it, it just helps somebody out. So when I get a pile going, I cart them all down to the end of the road, let the local scrappers have them. Another reason why I went with the Mighty Max is because I could buy it right online and it come right to my door. Now I will have a link down in the description down below as to where you can get that Mighty Max battery, which will fit most John Deere's, uh, Cub Cadets, Craftsman, most MTD made mowers, it'll fit. if you. If your battery looks like this under the seat, it'll fit. Now you guys seen it was a little bit of a snug fit, but it does fit. It does fit in there snug. It'll be fine. It's only going to be in there about two summers or so. So it doesn't really matter. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I also want to thank all the new subscribers for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you get subscribed. It really helps us grow. It helps us get out there and it helps me help people just like yourself. So definitely go down below and check out the links that I provide for you and leave me a comment on how I did. Also, if you'd like to see a review, a long-term review on this Craftsman mower, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. I had thought about doing it because my first video on this, it just, the views went through the roof and the likes and the comments are awesome. And it's been, it's been a couple of years. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do a review video for you guys. And that'll help you out. I do recommend it, by the way. So if you don't want to hang on to that review video, I'm going to spoil it right now. I do recommend this mower. This mower is the Craftsman T1700. And it does have the 19 horsepower, or yeah, 19 horsepower Gold Plus Briggs & Stratton series engine in it. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. I abused this mower. It's still got the factory oil on it. This is like the only thing that I don't really pay attention to. I do check it, and it's it actually, believe it or not, it still looks good. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. It still looks brand new. It still looks brand spanking new. It's a little dark, but it's clear for... Oh, boy. But it does need change because it is the break-in oil. Now, granted, I do have a small yard, so it only gets used for about 20 minutes at a time. And we use it at once a week, so it's not too harsh on it. This did should have been changed a long time ago. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And I want to ask you to check out this, this, and this video. And make sure you click right here to subscribe. Peace.